Gizmos! Welcome back to another Anime Reaction Time video on the channel Gizmia. Today we are going to be watching Attack on Titan, but now it is episode number 10, which means we are only a few short episodes from finishing this first part. Don't worry though, we still have the second part to go through, and then in a few years maybe we'll get a third and final part. <laughs> Hopefully, thumb, fingers crossed, and thumbs, and everything that's crossable. <laughs> but before we begin, Gizmos, please don't forget to comment down below and besides that please subscribe please subscribe to help us and also like as since we're already here please like too before the video starts why not <laughs> thank you so much for watching and without further ado let's start watching attack on titan season four part one episode 10 let's begin gizmos ready action so fight just fight. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Is he still filled with all I that mean, hate? I mean, you're clearly inside. muttering to yourself while <laughs> staring at your reflection. Oh my god, I'm but how come? <laughs> you just that bored or... Hey, you said, so fight, just fight, right? That's the second but time she's saying, done that. So fight, just fight. Who is it you're wanting to fight? I noticed that you said fight twice. God. Does that mean you'll fight two fights or one oh fight with god. two rounds? <laughs> your silence isn't helping your case. I mean, why would you talk to yourself but then ignore another person? God! This doesn't seem normal at all to me. Really? I've happy? never chatted up my mirror before. <laughs> but on a brighter note, I'm loving your new hairstyle. Yes. Yeah, the disheveled look makes a statement. <laughs> it's like you can't be bothered to deal with it because you're busy working so what hard. What did you come here to do? <laughs> what do you Just mean? Just bother you, basically. I came here to talk. <laughs> the first time we met, we spent all night talking about Titans, remember? Mm. Though looking back, I guess you just listened as I rambled about my research. Yes. I had faith and in you. And all things that he knew already. I trusted that you would never sacrifice Historia. Episode 69, A Sound Argument. I realize they shortened the intro. This is two years ago. The intro song, and Aaron, I think this is my favorite intro song. It's been song. a year now. Of course, I think I that the second season's intro show. song was um, I look forward gonna be to working eternally the attack on Titan theme. Too bad. But you won't be working with Aaron directly. This one, but it's my favorite. This meeting is as far and as Levi you is to teeny go. tiny compared to More everyone, than enough even Mikasa. This is an auspicious day. The port's complete at last. And we're about mm. to welcome our first foreign visitors from the sole nation that's friendly to parody, Hizuru. Oh. Their special envoy is Kiyomi Azuma Bito. We're gonna get some new allies then. Wow, building Do up a population. Do you happen to recognize this family crest? <laughs> wow, that shape. Yeah, you should show it to them. You think? But mom told me that I should keep it a secret. You showed it to me back when we were just kids. This could be the whole reason she gave it to you. Go on. Before she died, oh. my mom gave me this mark to match one she had herself. And she asked me to pass it down to my own children. Oh. A noble deed befitting your lineage. Over a century ago, Hizuru Shogun was an ally of the Eldian Empire. We Azumabitos trace our lineage back to a son who was on good terms with King Fritz and often visited here. After the Great Titan War, our once proud nation was left defeated and in disarray. And amidst the chaos and confusion, a child fathered by the Shogun's heir was somehow left behind on this island. <gasps> you are the only direct descendants of the family that once led our nation. But simply, oh. you are Hizuru's hope. Wow, she's an heir. I keep saying the word nation. I still don't understand it. What matters is that this gives us leverage over Hizuru. Unless it's a trap, that is. Mm. Right. Perhaps we should ask Yelena's opinion. Mm. <laughs> no, that's exactly what they want us to do. Oh my God. We're sure of one thing, at least. In this world that our new port has connected us to, we may as well be a tottering child learning to walk. Yeah, because they now, know nothing about anything. And learn what we can from Up our Up until places. a while ago, they thought they were the only hey, things on this land. so that symbol, why'd you only show it to Aaron? You've always worn that wrist wrap. I've never seen you take it off. Hmm. That's because, um... Hey, you're in a good mood. Of course I am! 
It seems our ancestors were friends. They've left us both with heavy burdens to bear. But I couldn't have asked for a more perfect match than you. <laughs> This is a historic day for both our nations. And it's worth noting that this day would never have come if not for the man who brought us together. I'm speaking, of course, of Zeke Yeager. We conversed with him in secret. And before he would agree to facilitate this meeting, he negotiated with us on behalf of your island. We discussed more than Lady Mikasa. First of all, take a look at this. That's odd. Do you recognize dance. this? <laughs> it's top secret in Marley. It's kind of just for the touch. Well, touches. as you this may know, this one. omnidirectional mobility gear is an anti-Titan weapon made in Paradis. This piece doesn't belong to Marley. I procured it myself. Please, consider it a gift. Hmm. I ought to mention, though, so it does need a special type of fuel to operate. It's exceedingly rare. They're calling it Ice Burst Stone. It's only ever been mined in Paradis, so very little is known about it. That said, you should be able to find traces of it inside that apparatus. Zeke Yeager's proposal was that we ally with okay, and yeah. assist Paradis yeah. in exchange for access to a resource that could return our nation to its former glory. It's a rather tempting offer. Thus, while we're aware that he made this offer without surveying your reserves, we suspect that in this modern era, a treasure like Iceburst Stone could change the world and generate a fortune in the process. Sounds like that's Hizuru's real hope. Yeah. Yelena did say that negotiations would go well because the Azumabitos are money grubbers. This is a dangerous oh. island to visit. I doubt anyone would take the risk if there weren't money to be made. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So their endgame is funny. So Zeke Yeager asked God. you to assist yeah. us? What would you assist us with? As I'm sure you're aware, he's concocted a plan to protect Eldia and the world. We're here because this plan can only succeed with Hizuru's assistance. It calls mm. for a three-point course of action which would allow you to defend yourselves with your so-called rumbling. This will begin with a test run of the rumbling. You would unleash a fraction of the titans in your walls, enough to display their destructive potential for all the world to see. That will buy you time with oh. which to modernize and strengthen your army so as to render the rumbling unnecessary. You are a hundred years behind the rest of the world. Hizuru will help you catch up. Until then, you must be able to shake the earth by maintaining the founding titan and having a titan of royal blood. That's the third point of this plan. Zeke will pass on the beast titan to an individual who has royal blood. And that person must spend the 13 years they'll have left, bearing as many children as possible. Even if we get advanced weapons, will we really stop needing the rumbling? If we choose to rely on it, we'll have to continue the practice of Titan inheritance for generations. Yes. I see how it could protect us for the time being. But is but... that enough of an excuse for us to push this problem onto our descendants? And... Of course it isn't. And yet... I understand. Oh, and I'm ready. Historia. If the rumbling is essential to our survival, I'll do my part. Is it gonna be I'm willing a permanent to inherit solution? the Titan from Zeke Jaeger. Historia. If Zeke's plan is to buy our salvation, at the price of broken walls, trampled lands, and children bred to be slaughtered like livestock, then I say he can go to hell and take his sick little plan with him. How is that a good plan for them exactly? Staking our survival on the threat of the rumbling is a dangerous move. So before we commit to it, we should try to find another way. Let's use what time we have to look at our options. I mean, it's temporary, just like he says, and it's not fair to put that on Historia either. I was with the Shosoukan with you. But why did you go to the Tandok Code and go to the Tandok Code and go to the Tandok Code? Is it okay to get the Tandok Code? I ate the Tandok Code of the Tandok Code. What? The Tandok Code of the Tandok Code of the Tandok Code of the Tandok Code. Yeah, 
あなたに何ができるって言うんですか教えてくださいよハンジさん他のやり方があったら教えてくださいよ<笑>エレンのエチいまだに反抗期かよバカ若者<笑>エルディあんたら唯一の失策だなんで私なんか団長にしたんだよ、うん、中に入ろうよディストリアもっと体をいたわらないとディストリアシースプラグナットやっぱり俺たちの定義通りジークは島に着くなり巨人にしたヒストリア女王に食わせるべきだったんだそれがまさか<笑>ガキをおこしらえ遊ばされるたな所詮は下船の身に過ぎない名ばかりの女王様ってことだおいやめろ What is wrong with you? 女王には相手を選ぶ権利がある誰の息もかかっていない相手であることは調査済みだろう<笑>同じ地で生まれた青年だ幼少期は女王に石を投げつけていたらしい構ってほしかったようだ孤児院を手伝っていたのも罪悪感からだと何年も顔を伏せたまま下働きを務める彼に気づいたのは女王の方からだったなれ初めなんてどうでもいい問題は女王がなぜ今身勝手な行為に及んだのかだ誰かが助言したんだ妊娠しちまえば巨人にされずに済むと言えれなに違いないあの女は一番イカれていて頭が切れる危険なやつだからな女王が妊娠してジークは命拾いしたんだぞおい飲みすぎだ、yeah, yes. 今ならまだ間に合う身をもだろうと巨人にしちまえばお腹の子は死ぬだろうな何より女王の身に何かあればおしまいだただでさえ、出産は命の危険に伴うという。Oh、God, その正論でこの国は滅ぶかもな。おい、もう一本持ってこい、マネジー。かしこまりました。グリーフ。<笑>ニコロ、おすすめはこいつだ。So now they have a Marlins working for them. Oh, they're gonna go. 俺たちか。やらなきゃいけないことなのかいや,やらなくていいことだバカがあんなことを言い出さなければなこれなら体も鍛えられるし島の開発も進むって<笑>確かに今はヒーズルからの回答を待つしかないからな<笑>ヒーズルを返して世界との対話を図るんだこの暑い中ご苦労様だよ。いや、俺たちはこのバカの護衛で仕方なく。<笑>お前ら、ずうたいばかりでかくなりやがって。<笑>ヒーズルの件でしょうか。たった今、アズマビトから返事が来た。そうだ<笑>ダメだった<笑>ヒーズルとかは取り付く島もないようだ<笑>やはりヒーズルはパラディ島の資源を独占取引したいのだから他国との貿易に協力などしない<笑>そして世界はパラディ島が災いの種であり続けることを望んでいる<笑>それが国々の団結を促し世界の安定を担保するからだ<笑>俺たちは血ならしに頼るしかなくてヒストリアの犠牲は避けられないってことですかそうなるそんなこちらの意図も図らず勝手に悪魔だって決めつけてどうしてみんなが平和になる道を考えられないんだ分からないからだと思う私たちが何者か分からないから恐れているそうだ顔の見えない相手なんかを信用するわけにはいかないからねだから会いに行こうわからないものがあれば理解しに行けばいいそれが調査兵団だろ
<笑>あれに拠点を設けて潜入か。ハンジさん、そんなこと考えてたんですね。そこで、ハンバの周りを見せつつみよ。え、俺何持っていこう。腹を下したら大変だよな。胃薬と油下。故郷の味を何かハン
かつてのあいつはいくらお前が強くても前線から遠ざけようとするやつだっただがアルミンに軍港を破壊させお前を戦場に呼んだあいつが大事だと言った俺もコニーもサシャもだそれは私たちは信頼されてるから実際私たちが行かなければ何もできなかったサシャが死ぬこともなかっただろうなサシャが死んだ時エレンはどうしたと思う涙を流したと思うか悔しがったと思うかゴニーボス洗いやがった一体何がそんなにおかしかったんだろうなサシャが死んだことのどこが説明してくれよミクさんなんでエレンは笑ったのかエレンのことは何でもわかるんだよエレンと話そう僕とミカサと3人だけでエレンの真意を確かめるんだ、yeah, exactly、話し合ってどうするもしジークと同じ目的だったら巨人の薬を入手した兵団には選択肢があるまさか信頼できる他の誰かを巨人にしてエレンの思想を継承する選択だ Yeah, e v e r y t h i n g s getting so serious in this part. Oh my god, they're gonna go for Zeke. Oh, <laughs> I really cannot wait. This is a real, they're going by so fast again. Like this whole season, well, this whole part, I guess, because I really just don't want it to end. But, well, we got a little bit more, a little more backstory, a little bit more relationship wise. It's getting really good. I really want to know what Aaron's motives are, but I feel like it might not be the answer that we want, or it might be. So, I mean, who knows, right? We have to weigh in the good with the bad. Please don't forget to comment down below. Low gizmos and also like if you like this video i'd like to hear all about it thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out with me today do not forget to subscribe please subscribe gizmos and i will see you guys then in the next video <laughs> bye gizmos